get settled and we're going to do a very simple beautiful meditation today which I'm sure you will enjoy and you know the thing for me for people they come and ask you know I, I struggle with the thinking and how to get into the space and I try and do a meditation so remember meditation is not about doing something what I'm sharing is the, the practice of presence and essentially is bringing your attention away from this relentless uncontrollable thought stream and placing it into the present moment into your body connecting to your feelings being at one with everything that is alive in you in this moment without trying to change anything we're not trying to figure anything out it's a shift of attention very simply shifting the attention now the mind can be there so it's not an enemy we're not trying to shut it down or control it or wrestle it into the ground there's a whole unfolding that goes into bringing the mind into stillness through understanding what's driving it and what's powering it but the practice of presence is really that simple thing of learning to move your attention simply moving your attention into the stillness of the present moment so what I call anchors I've already talked about this using anchors finding a modality where that becomes a door into the present so for example following the breath this is a very simple one very powerful it's actually known as vipassana awareness of the breath your breath is there all the time, but you will notice when the mind hijacks our attention, we lose connection with the, with the breathing. The breathing is still there, but our, our awareness of it becomes less. So start right now by taking a conscious full breath, just one. And as we breathe out, just releasing the day, letting go of anything that may be on your mind, any unfinished business. It will still be there at the end of the meditation. Okay. okay. Another modality is connecting with the body, relaxing, feeling, giving space to the emotions, the sensations, being aware. Remember, the practice of presence is not about f trying to feel good. Because then we're struggling, we're denying what's happening now and trying to change it. We're simply relaxing with what is. What is now? Without any judgment, without any resistance, without trying to change anything, not labeling, complaining, analyzing. These are all functions of the ego. The ego is very good at that. Our attention is on the observer, being rooted in the observer. Okay. So for today, I would like to focus on one modality which is listening simply listening and especially in the beginning it can be very powerful to focus our attention on one thing one thing now it can be a flower it can be a breath it can be a taste it can be a touch. 
It can be a beautiful moment, like looking into the eyes of a baby. So play with that during the day. Keep the practice going every day, whenever it comes into your mind. But for now, listening. Simply listening. At the same time, being aware of the breath. And being aware of maintaining the body in a relaxed place, feeling relaxed and open. You'll notice when the mind comes in with a story that takes our attention, the shoulders go up and our, our face crinkles. Let the stories go. Rinse and repeat. Come back to the body. Relax. But listening. So right now I can hear the wind. I can hear a bird singing. I can hear some other sounds, the rustle of leaves the sound of my voice. I can feel when I'm listening, my ears become more alive. And I close my eyes and bring all my attention to listening. The sounds become a little sharper. I'm still aware of my breath. I'm not doing anything. The breath is moving by itself. And still the sounds landing like raindrops. And then as my ears start to open, I can hear other sounds, like joining the orchestra. So what can you hear? What sounds are coming to your attention? not judging them, simply listening. This motion, constant change, this flow of music, In between the peaks, in between the words, there's a gap. And then there's another sound and a gap. Place your attention and notice the gap. What does it feel like? How do I know there's a gap? We're not thinking about it. We're not trying to solve it. It's the mind. The being present with it. The feeling of it. The feeling of being present, listening. So 
doing that one thing. So now I feel the wind picking up sounds of the leaves getting stronger and then softer. And also listening to silence. Listening to the sound of silence. Traditionally, this is the sound of Aum. There's a hum. And staying with the breath, allowing your breath to be open and natural keeping the body relaxed, merging into the air. Listening. Allowing sounds to fall, not efforting. going deeper into each sound, allowing the sounds to draw you in, like following them, staying with the sounds. Notice how the mind softens, thoughts become less intense. And if there are some thoughts there, it's okay. Let them drift by. They can wait. Staying with the listening. And whenever your attention goes elsewhere, gently bring it back. Conscious breath, relax. What do you hear in this moment? And also listening to yourself. Listening to your body. Listening to your heart. Being present and open. your inner world. Still listening to the outer world, bringing a little bit more attention now to the inner world. What do you hear? What do you sense? What do you feel? Your body is saying, 
what your emotions saying, what are your thoughts saying. Are you hearing something from your inner world that's reaching out with a clear message? Stay with the listening, being open to whatsoever is there. Allowing things to be with an attitude of non-judgment and loving kindness, being present in this moment. listening When you hear the bell, follow the sound to bring yourself deeper into the stillness. So through listening, by placing our attention on one thing, it can lead us to ourself, to being. We meet ourselves, it is you, this awareness, this consciousness, this presence, that is you. So I don't become conscious of presence. I am presence. We are all presence. Sometimes it gets covered over by the busyness of the mind, by doing too many things. So focusing on one thing, a breath, a sound, a taste, gazing at a flower. We remind ourselves to come back and connect without judgment, relaxing, being present. And then from there, from being connected to our essential self, our being, the doing will have a different quality. Okay. So that brings us now to the end of our meditation for today.
Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> and uh, have a beautiful evening. Thank you for showing up today. And so much love to you all. Take care. Namaste.